Hi, this is Danny. Again, I was just helping a friend of mine with how I studied for the test, the IFR written, and I got a 97 on it. And it wasn't because I'm smart. It wasn't because I'm young and my mind is fresh. It was just, I think I followed the Shepherd Air method methodology for, for the test. But I just wanted to go into memory aids. So this is just going to be a short video about memory aids and what I did to uh, help me um, remember things. Um, you know, I walked into the test, basically. I filled out the sheet here. And as soon as I, as soon as they gave me a piece of paper, I wrote all this stuff down on the sheet. This is the sheet that I use to answer questions, the sample test, uh, sample test bank, the question bank. This is the sheet that I use for that. And I, I don't try to do stuff in my head. I just make, I, I just kind of come up with my own little memory aid sheet. And then as soon as I get that piece of paper from the, test center, I regurgitate that onto this sheet of paper. And it's so much easier to study because you're not trying to memorize things. And in using the sheet, you actually remember uh, the, the information on it. It's crazy. I'm going to give you a, a, a sample uh, just just to explain like what's on my memory sheet, just one thing. And then you can just do do your own thing after that. First of all, we're just going to go over this a standard question. So your altimeter right now is set for 2992 because you were at flight level 290. But your the current altimeter setting is 3026. So what will your your altitude indicate if you're at MSL? So this is an example of a memory sheet that I created myself. Shepherd Air has many of these that they do for you, and it's $45 plus you get a, a test bank, and that's the whole reason that I got a 97. But these are just barometer setting questions, and I'm just giving you an example of what you could do on memory, a memory sheet. So our current altimeter is set lower than what the actual, what the local setting is. So our current altimeter is set lower. So we use this thing here, this it's lower uh, current setting means lower indicated setting and higher true altitude. So the answer would be, um, that that we would we would indicate um lower um if we were at msl true altitude we would get an indication lower so if we were at msl msl would be higher than the indication that we we would get and so i use this table to help me with a bunch of questions and I don't have to memorize things I don't have to worry about it all I have to do is write this table down when they give me a blank sheet of paper and I've got it. So here's another thing. Alternate static, if 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 I if I enable alternate static, it's gonna give me a higher indicated my true altitude will be lower. If I'm flying from hot to cold weather, you know, here's the table for that. So this is just an example of things you can do to make your life easier when you're studying for the test. And don't worry about keeping this little cheat sheet with you when you're studying for the test and answering questions. As long as you write this thing down right after they give you a blank sheet of paper, you got it.